So let us see how this is done in Blender. Okay, so again uh, the grass interaction and then the environment, you can see that the leaves are moving a little bit, there is depth of field and we have some interesting looking grass. So in the last class we looked at how to make the character walk down the hill and I had added a sky but I removed it uh, for the cycles render, I used an HDR image. So first thing what we will do today is we will go to shading tab and add some variation to our grass because when we add the grass, the grass will take the color of the plane. Alright, so I'll hit shift A and search for image textures. So we'll add another image. I'm going to use this image which has some rocks in it and we need to mix this so I'm going to click on mix RGB so we can mix two colors and then it will the slider will decide how much it is mixing okay so we add some variation to our uh, ground plane all right I'll go to go back and what we need to do is we need to select this character and then we need to add in dynamics we need to add collision okay so that uh, the character will collide with the grass we'll select the plane we'll go to particles and we will add particles and we're going to use hair and you can see that the hair has the color of the ground and depending on the color of the ground, the hair color changes. So the length is going to be 2 meters. I will use 2000 particles. Alright, and then uh, we need to turn the hair dynamics on. When you turn the hair dynamics on, you will see that the grass tends to fall down towards earth and we need to change the gravity i tried 0.2 so we read the gravity and that fixes that problem okay so the grass is not falling down anymore uh, the other thing we need to do is under the children section we add children and i will use 40 children even in render because i want to see exactly what i see here in the render and now you can see that the color is changing uh, we increase the radius so the grass the grass spreads around and if you reduce the clamping then it will clamp towards each other so we have like a bunch of grass you can add some twist to the grass and then we can add some random size Okay. So you can play with these uh, numbers to see how things look. And when you play this scene, will we make the height of the grass 2 meters? Yes. And then the character is going to interact with the grass because of the dynamics. Okay, you can see how the grass is moving and it come, it's coming back. So that is how you will add grass. And then if you go to your render settings, you will get the grass. I have added an HDRI image, which you can add. And then if you go back to the grass settings, the root diameter, we can reduce it. So you get inner grass. You can add a little bit of a tip if you want. 
we can play with these numbers to see what kind of graphs we get. Okay, and then uh, once you are happy with uh, what you got, you can uh, then go ahead and bake the simulation. So you have to go back and then you have to bake the simulation so that uh, your computer will not crash during rendering. Okay, so once you bake it, then the dynamics will be baked and then it will be easier for the computer to process the information. Now the other thing uh, for the trees and the rock and other things, I'm using a plugin called Botanic. Okay, so I'll put the link uh, in the description. But uh, there is a trial version which gives you some interesting options for your scene. So if you go to Download the plugin, go to Edit Preferences, Add ons, Install and install the plugin. Then make sure that the botanic is turned on and then uh, you'll get this polygoning and you can click on Spawn Assets. And then there are trees that you can add. So I did one of these trees. Okay. Then it is best to spread your scene in two and then you can move the tree and look at where it is in the respect of the camera. Okay, so you have to make sure that the tree is visible at the beginning somewhere and then where it goes from there. Okay, so based on that you can make sure that you don't have a floating tree in your scene and then you can scale the tree and things like that so the other assets i used was i used the deciduous this tree you can scale it big also and place it in the scene based on the location of your camera okay and you want to make sure that the tree will not be floating all right so i'm going to show you how i animated the leaves so if you hit the n key you will have to click on convert to editable this will give you the ability to edit the trees. So I used actually a very simple lattice modifier. So you have to go to, I'll go back to the single frame and add lattice. Move it where the tree is. Scale it big. Go to lattice. I use three by three by three. Let's select the tree. Go to modify panel. Add lattice. And select the lattice. And now you can go to edit mode and you can move the like this. So in order to animate the lattice, we have to go to edit, preferences, and we need to search for this add-on, animation, anim all, and turn it on. And if you hit the end key, you will see animate option will pop up. Now we go to edit mode, we select the points that we want to animate go to your camera view and say at frame number zero the leaves are down we will add a key okay and after some frames say maybe 20 the leaves move up 
and you insert a key. And now you can duplicate these throughout. And then they don't have to be precise because then you get nice variation. So you can press it there and then I'll select all of these and copy them. And then you can select all of these and copy them again. So you have a continuous movement of leaves in your scene. So what I've done here is I'll deselect this, select this, and I have turned my grass off so I can see what is going on. All right. So once you have your leaves animated, you can do that to various things. We'll go back to our polygoning, botanic, and then add some rocks, for example. So there are different types of rocks. And then once a rock is added, you can bring it up, scale it, and place it in your scene. Okay. Now this rock gets covered by the grass. So you have to make sure that it is kind of big. And if you want, you can use to scale it in one direction. Okay. And then place it in the scene based on your camera angle. Okay, and then you can go to plants and add some fern. And then you can also scale it up and place it by the rocks so that the joint between the rocks and the Better to place it here, one. Okay, so you can place it next to the rock, to the rock and the grass joint doesn't do all. So you can cover that up. Then, if you want, you can spread it up. Okay, so you can add fur, and then there are other interesting things weed, shrubs. Under miscellaneous, there is a nice mushroom which you can add to add some color to your scene okay, and then you can add like a mushroom family so again you hit uh, zero key and place it where you want it Decide the size of the mushroom. Okay. And then you will have rock, fern, plants, and other things in your scene along with your grass. Okay. And then with your uh, HDRI image. Uh, the other thing what I did is selected the camera and then I used the depth of field and I selected the armature for the focus and I reduced the f-stop way down to 0.2 and that gives you this look. One last thing I want to show you is adding some color to the grass. So if you select this, you will go back to shading tab. And I've added a shader here, and then we will add translucency. To our shader, and then we will add this color onto this color. So the grass will have translucency, and it looks more natural. And that's it. Uh, one tip I will give you is please when you render scenes which have so many dynamics and uh, a heavy scene like this it is better that you render 
PNG sequence. And you can see that I rendered the PNG sequence. So just in case your computer crashes, you don't have to restart instead of rendering a movie, render PNG sequences and then put it together using a, a file editor. And that's about it.